Hello! Yeah! We got the soundtrack on Spotify! Hello! Hi, hi, how are you? What's up? Hi. I'm a little bit behind, so we're just gonna get right into it. How about that, gamers? that up nom, 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 nom. indeed all right i'm gonna need y'all's ears for this game because it started out and i'm pretty sure i went deaf so now it's not gonna do anything is it ah okay we're playing poppy playtime and I may have to, like, restart the game every time we get into a new chapter. I have no idea how far along I'll get in this game. Um, I know a little bit about it. I watched uh, Jacksepticeye play it. I watched Markiplier play it. Uh, I believe I watched 8-Bit Ryan play it as well. I watched a lot of people play it. Um, this game's always interested me. I just never played it uh, for reasons that they kind of did to themselves. But I decided, with the release of Indigo Park, uh, I thought I would go ahead and give this a try. I would play, like, Security Breach, which is very similar. But that game can be very infuriating sometimes. <laughs> and I don't think that would be too fun for me. So, this is Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex- Sorry, I read too fast. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years- years after everybody within disappeared. Once again, you'll have to just put up with the AC because it is fucking hot. So let's go. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. Welcome, everybody. I'm gonna use y'all's ears because I know this game can get stupid loud and it started out loud. It's one of those games where everything's really quiet and then all of a sudden everything's loud and you're like, ah! It sounds okay on my end, though. I hate you, Poppy. I'm waiting for us to, like, actually, like, get into the, uh, game game. Yeah. To see how the volume is. Because this little cutscene right here is a little quiet, but, you know, cutscene in the actual end game can be different. Yep. If you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory stores at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour and I just know, like, the actual monsters had this guttural roar, so, um, I didn't want to poo myself. <laughs> I'm vibrating in excitement. Yeah, I never played this for myself. And if you ask me, do you remember anything that happened? Um... I do! I can't wait! <laughs> I remember certain bits. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. You find the poppy flower. Why is it so wobbly? I hate it. I'm gonna throw up. It's like a wobble. Give me time to eat my sandwich. I'm hungry. Sensitivity seems okay for now. I have to wait till you put the first bit of uh, one of those audio tapes in or something for me to hear proper audio. Eat healthy like Braun.
green, pink, Joe, yellow, Joe. Blue, the red. I'm fucking colorblind, apparently. Did you say green? I said blue for, like, the last one, but it's like, that's not blue. You fucking moron. I mean, the train is blue. Boogie bot! Oh no, all the huggies are gone. Oh no, oh no, that boogie bot's gone. Oh no. Candy cat? Is that like Candy Cadet? Oh. Candy. 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 <laughs> Candy. Okay. Candy cat. Green, pink, <laughs> yellow, red. <gasps> Buddy. Bro, I can't hardly see anything in the darks right there because it is dark on stream. I forgot the color combination for a second. I had to retrace my steps in my brain. Green, pink, yellow, red. Yeah. Hello. 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 Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I can't pick it up yet. I gotta watch the, the employee fucking instruction video. That better not be cheese balls. It's cheese balls. They're not. It? No, they're not cheese balls. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> I got a hand. You like my hand? The game seems a little quiet. Okay, if I blow out my eardrums because of y'all, I swear. You don't need to turn it up a whole lot. Yeah, because these aren't done by numbers, so I kind of have to just mess with it. Use the hand real quick. Yeah, there you go. That's better. I know chapter one is relatively short. Yeah. Good. Aren't we supposed to find a, or hear like a security thing or whatever saying, hey, you're not supposed to be in here. Huh. You want to know something? Oh, there it is. I was about to say, is there no brightness? It's just a little too dark for even for me. That's a little better. Yeah, there it is. You didn't just get yourself stuck, did you? Okay. <laughs> There's the tape. Gimme. That he was in here? One of the more I did. Aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Well, I don't know yet.
Oh, I don't like that. It's Huggy Wuggy. Why has he gotta be so fucking massive? Huggy Wuggy, 1984. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. You're not gonna do that to me, right? Yeah, how about? <laughs> oh, there's the Huggy Toys. See, they get to be that size. They can be this size. Oh, I broke it! Huggy, I broke it! Oh, you got something for me? Thank you! You're so kind! I'll see you later, okay? You're not gonna move, right? Yeah, he's not gonna move. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> Am I blind today? <laughs> Jesus. This game seems darker than it, than it was when it first came out. Stupid dork. Remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Not, do not hide behind doors to scare Leif Pierre. Don't stay past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation. Wing without authorization. Okay. Sure. Whatever you say. Oh. I'm sure that's fine. I did it! Puzzle for babies! Ah, damn it, Huggy! Why are you the way you are? I told you to stay right here, now you're not here, and... <clears throat> I can't with this guy. Can you believe this guy? What a prick. Well, I wanted to give hey! him another high hey! five. Hey, get that arm out of here. Get that. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I know nothing happens for like a good fucking while, so... <gasps> no, you're headless! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Marcy and Huggy and Sue. Not Cat B. Okay, I gotta. I think the yellow tape's pretty easy to find, actually. be epic. Huggy, where's the yellow tape? Huggy. This is all coming from the same woman that's probably going to be screaming her head off as soon as he shows up, because I do remember that. And he is, um, awful. <laughs> Where's the tape, Boogie Bot? I think the yellow tape a lot of people end up accidentally looking over. I don't think it's back there. Oh, 
Oh, I remember where it is right up here. Uh, go to that platform. Oh, and maybe it wasn't in this area. I thought there was like some crates or something where it was supposed to be on top of it. Like only where your uh, little blue hand can just go whoop. It is what it is. I didn't try to 100% fucking um, Indigo Park, so. Why am I taking this taking this eh, game better than Indigo Park? I guess because I kind of know what it, what to expect. I'll be right back. I gotta help mom get groceries in. Okay. okay. Saw that red battery. Hey. Hey. Hey, get, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Hey, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Mine. Yeah, I have to get back up there. Quit chat while while he's not looking. get mad at me if he doesn't know what I just put in my mouth. <laughs> I need a ham. You got a ham for me? I need a ham. Pull the other way. Oh. I need a ham. Chat. I gotta get a ham. Oh, could have gone, gone around the shelf. I'm an idiot. <laughs> remember a whole lot from chapter one my my most recent memory is chapter three and that's what uh, honestly it was that chapter that made me want to get into it i was just like yeah you know what the designs are super cool i want to give this game a try and now here we are You want to run that by me again? No? Alright. Alright. Um. Oh. I just need one more, right? But then that begs the question, how the hell do I get back up there? Sorry, that was me flipping my phone over because all of a sudden everything in the world is going, look at these exclusive offers, and I'm like, I'm busy! <laughs> my ADHD cannot handle it today. Oh, there you are. Come here. What are you doing? Cool, I still need to... Just, just, just. Oh, okay. I'm such a silly guy. Well, hold on. 
because it's going to bother me. Poppy. I know nothing's going to kill me right now. We're just in atmosphere mode. Militate. Oh, I'm fucking blind. It's on one of the shelves here, and I'm just a fool. Though I just caught a quick glimpse, so I didn't really pay attention to it. this one maybe yep there it is it blends in with everything no wonder rich where are they keeping the husky boxes i don't know i couldn't tell you that's definitely michael hi michael My hand. Brah! I legit cannot see, and I'm gonna need that for later. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot. I know I'm going to need that, that brightness later. Y'all just going to have to. Because <laughs> I cannot fucking see. I'm Hello. legally blind. Hello, Ed3. What y'all playing? Poppy Playtime. Oh, fuck. There we go. Make a friend. Yummy. 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things that he created, the Make-A-Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. 
is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Yay! Needs Yard. power! Oh, nobody leaves without a toy. I don't got a toy. <laughs> Foxy doesn't have a toy. I don't get a toy. Is it the pink one? Yeah, it is in a weird spot. Come here. Let's go watch this real quick. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young. So magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. Such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory... This is the weird tape. So I really, really wish I could go back to being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. Your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Oh, poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young when it gets to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. A little? What is it? Mark says, this game's made for babies. Right, give me my hand back. I don't know how I missed that, but alright. Oh, do these retract after a while? Is that what's going on? Or no? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I see. Spocky. Spocky. My. My buffoon. Am I a buffoon? A zabumafu? I think I'm a buffoon, guys. Wall, does anybody else see that? 
Give me the freaking handle! <coughs> I'm choking. <coughs> Why didn't it? There we go. Here, let me try my right hand. I missed. I missed. I think this game heard me talking shit. <laughs> yeah, here's the problem that conflicts there. Okay. I refuse to miss a thing of you playing this game. Oh, it's gonna be awful. Catching on God knows what. I did it. Oh. Oh.
know what other future horror games you can play? Amanda the Adventurer? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna squiggle away. You know what? I'll stay and watch the part. Yeah? Listen. You're not scared of Huggy Wuggy? No. Friend. Oh. <laughs> Friend, are you okay? Come here. I'm gonna turn my headset down because this shit got loud. Hey guys, what if we give Huggy a hug? You think that will help? No. Ah! Hi, buddy! Wow, I can't fucking see. Why is he so- Oh, I hate it. Ah! <laughs> That's right, I gotta follow the red light. That's my fault. That didn't get me as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> it was just really loud, so I'm just sitting here going, Fuck! <laughs> Come on, Huggy. You take so long. There we go. And you make my frames drop. You are so cringe. Alright, admittedly, I hate this. I mean, wow, I hate it. Don't turn around. Fuck you. Oh, buddy. Well, that was awful. Why is he so fast and I'm so slow? He bled. Gotta be real. I don't remember that. But you know what? Considering I know the lore, this game makes sense. Alright, now I'm gonna wiggle away because that was too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I would react differently, though I will say I am shaking a little bit. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> Not Etri overcoming his fears by seeing the Huggy Wuggy segment. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna conquer my fears. <laughs> Freaks out the whole time. <laughs> Final line in relation to experiment 1006. Prototype. Coordination and cooperation. Well, they're dead.
Wake up. Yeah. Etri would 100% hate chapter 2 and 3, especially 3. Are you kidding me? You look at catnap and tell me that thing's normal. <laughs> so, with the way this game is downloaded on Steam, I think I have to close out the game and restart it for the new chapter. But, um, which I'm not gonna lie, kind of cringe, you know? Yeah. So give me... Let's get on that close-up. Give me one moment. <clears throat> I will say that is... A gripe. I have, so far. Shame I won't be seeing them. You don't want to see Mommy Longlegs? Mommy Longlegs is next! And she's a baddie. She's kind of a baddie, you know? All right, one moment. Start it up on here. Oh, I hope I don't have to fuck with the settings again. 